Hello everyone, it's Hannah Singer and welcome to my channel. video I'm sharing some recipes that I absolutely love because what else do I really share on this YouTube channel anymore um, I promise I'll have some non foodie videos coming up in the next weeks but I just love food and I love sharing my thoughts about food and I like sharing recipes with you all because I just think it's important to get inspired in the kitchen. I will be walking you through Max Lamana's vegan baked mac and cheese, which is so good. I added broccoli to it. Mm, literally heavenly. And his banana bread granola recipe from his zero waste book. I ordered it for myself because I had an Amazon gift card and my sister actually got me a copy for my birthday. So now I have two of them, which I will be re-gifting back to her. This is seriously the best book I own. I'm obsessed with it. And then some really, really easy vegan chocolate little heart truffles. Seriously, two ingredients, peanut butter, and chocolate and then you just need some sort of mold to put it in but it's so easy and so delicious let's get started and move into the kitchen okay y'all so i'm gonna walk you all through max lamana's banana bread granola recipe it's super easy and this is kind of my little rendition of the recipe basically i started by chopping up some nuts cashews walnuts and pumpkin seeds and then you need some oats about 300 grams and then I have two extra ripe bananas. I just started by mashing those up into a smooth, liquidy texture and consistency. And then I added in about a tablespoon of vanilla in there for flavoring, as well as some coconut nectar, coconut sugar, hemp seeds, and cinnamon. And then I chopped up some coconut flakes just because I had them left over, added in the nuts, stirred it all around, added in the mixture of bananas, coconut nectar, and vanilla, and voila, there you go. The granola is ready. You just have to plop it onto a baking sheet and bake it for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how crispy you want your granola to be. I also set my oven to 365 degrees. Once it was done, I took it out of the oven and broke it up into little chunks. You can store it in a mason jar or if you're eating it right away, something delicious that you can serve it with is stewed apples with cinnamon and agave and wild blueberries. And then I just poured in some homemade oat milk also from Max's book. And it was so, so yummy. I added extra fruit on top. Perfect little breakfast cereal. Next will be the baked mac and cheese recipe, also from Max Lamana. Surprise, surprise. I will link it down below and also have kind of the recipe written out above if you want to pause the video at any point, but it will always be linked down below. And this recipe is so easy and so delicious. You just start by basically boiling pasta and water for only a minute, and then add all the cheese sauce ingredients into a high-speed blender, blend until smooth, and then pour that into the pan with the half-cooked pasta, a bag of frozen broccoli, or any other vegetables you desire. And then if you wanna get extra fancy, you can do some breadcrumbs. I use some stale leftover bread I had sourdough and whole wheat bread I did two batches and I use some butter also from Max Lamana's recipe book which is the aquafaba butter seriously you all need to get this book it is absolutely phenomenal such a delicious recipe and I highly 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 recommend my camera just died but this is actually heavenly this is Max Lamana's recipe 
but I basically just swapped out the leeks for broccoli and it's delicious. I might put some hot sauce or like ketchup on it. I know it's kind of weird, but tastes good. Okay, this next recipe is my favorite because it's literally so incredibly easy and so addicting and delicious. I think I've had truffles for dessert every single day the past two weeks. All you have to do is put about a cup of chocolate chips in a glass bowl on top of a pan with some water and the chocolate will get silky smooth. I find it better than putting it in the microwave. And then I filled up a little chocolate heart truffle kind of mold with half of it as just the chocolate and frozen banana chunks and then the other half with peanut butter and chocolate. You can also crack some sea salt on top. So yummy. You just freeze it for a little and then they're all set and they're so easy to just pop in your mouth. And they're delicious as heck. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you try out these recipes. Don't forget to check out Max Lamana's book. I will link everything down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Join the little tribe here on YouTube. Hit the notifications bell. I upload every single Wednesday. And always remember, the earth is your playground. I'll catch you in my next video. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to me